heard you guys' feedback, so I'm happy to say I am bringing you part two of the Super Mario Sunshine playthrough. <laughs> What's up guys, it's Bravity. Welcome back to another video here on the channel. I got a lot of great comments and messages about part one of the Super Mario Sunshine playthrough. If you guys have not seen that, make sure you go watch it. I'll add a card, I believe it's up in that corner or so, and a link down in the description. But I am so happy that you guys enjoyed part one and the comments on the video were fantastic. So I will be bringing you guys part two. In part one, we did the beginning um, cutscenes and airstrip uh, shine. Then we did part one of Bianco Hills. We did Gelato Beach skip so that we skipped almost the entirety of the Gelato stage. And now we're gonna be moving on to Rico Harbor, Pinna Park, and if we go any further, I'll talk about it then. But let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. All right, everyone, here we are in the game, right where we left off, just outside of Gelato Beach. Like I said, we got through Bianco and Gelato in this one. So we're gonna be moving on to Rico Harbor. So we're just gonna come down here and do a couple water slides to get all the way to Rico Harbor. So, Rico Harbor is the level that we unlocked earlier in Bianco 1 when we had to come over here randomly and fight the uh, black lava monster guy. So that is the level we unlocked, so we're going into it now. First lever, level, first level, is the Gooper Blooper breaks out, big octopus guy. So we gotta go fight him, so we're immediately jumping into a boss battle. So this is gonna be Fun. So, start with a nice little triple jump, spray, spin jump, spin jump, side flip, oh gosh guys, I'm ready for this rust to be gone, side flip, side flip, there we go, and now we can do a water slide here for ballsy, do another water slide down here, didn't work, but here is Gooper Blooper. So we're gonna grab his his tentacle here and bust him out of his boxes. And it's time to fight him. Now there is a long, long way to fight him, which is how all the casual players do. We're gonna be doing the quick way to fight him. Uh, see if I can still do it, get him kind of quick. So we gotta spray off his face, and we gotta grab his nose. So there is a successful quick grab of Gooper Blooper. What you're supposed to do is jump on each one of his tentacles and pop off of his tentacles so that he cannot hit you. And yeah, he won't be able to hit you, then you go in for his nose. But we can do it in a way, because we're speedrunners, <laughs> we can do it in a way where when he slams at us, we jump in before he can get there and we mess with his whole uh, interface to the point where he's not gonna try to hit us. Uh, it's very confusing, we're gonna dive, grab the star, but all you need to know is that was a very quick gooper blooper um, compared to how you're supposed to fight him. So, episode one, done. Very simple. All right, now time for episode two. This one is pretty fun. <laughs> Here we go, guys. So, blooper, surfing, safari. We're gonna be racing on some little octopuses this time, not fighting them. So there's a bit of a skip here in this level, and I will explain it to you as I go. We're always going to jump on the green blooper here because he is the same speed as all the other ones, but he's got better handling. And we're going to take him all the way through this harbor and into this little drain pipe sewer thing here. And in here we're going to find the gooper blooper race. So we need to beat this race in a certain time, and that time is a little bit hard if you do it the regular way, but I'm gonna show you how we can skip it. This is not the current strat in speedrunning. There is a quicker way to do it, but I have not practiced that, and I'm not very good at it, so we're gonna do it in the old way. So instead of doing the entire race, we're gonna fake the race by hitting some check boxes that we need. So if we jump right here, we've just hit a loading zone. If we jump up on this wall, We've hit another loading zone, and now we can finish the race out much quicker than we would have if we completed the entire race. And just like that, we have gotten the Shine Sprite, and we're gonna try to jump into it right there, but I think I missed it. Barely missed it, but we got it now. So there we go, there's the Fast Gooper Blooper race. Um, we cheat the whole system, not gonna do the entire race. That's stupid, we're gonna fit, we're gonna, 
we're gonna fake it because we're speed runners and we're gonna do it really quickly. I need to learn the real way to do that where you don't even get on a blooper. They do, the speed runners currently do it without getting on a blooper and I need to learn that, but that is still fairly quick, a quick way to do it. Stage three guys, episode three, what are we doing? The caged shine sprite. This one is very hard guys, but I'm gonna show you how we do it. So big yellow cage in the center, you guys see it there. I'm gonna take a second to look at it. That big yellow cage. So, all of these like metal beams that are going everywhere, this is a massive obstacle course, and you're supposed to go through that entire obstacle course using flood and uh, various flips and spin maneuvers, and you're supposed to get into the pipe there up at the top with the red ring and fall all the way down into the bottom of the cage and get the shine sprite. So we'd have to go through this whole obstacle course, but as speedrunners, this is what we do. Triple jump. Spin jump, spin jump, spin jump, spray, and we grab the bottom of the cage just like that. We fly up in there and boom, we have grabbed the star unbelievably fast compared to how a casual runner would do it. That is one of my favorite stars in the entire game right there, guys. That is a really fun star to get and it is very difficult to learn the correct place to start spraying flood so that you can grab the bottom of the cage. It took me forever to learn it, but I'm so glad I did because it is very fun to do. So we're just blowing through Rico Harbor here, guys. So let's go ahead and go into episode four. Episode four is a secret. If you remember from last episode, anytime there is secret in the word, that means we're going into one of those obstacle courses where we lose flood on our back. So we're going to be getting up in this little lighthouse thing, losing, losing Flood, and going into one of the harder secrets in the game. I hate this one, gotta be honest. So we're going to do the same movement from the last, or from the first one when we went to go fight Mr. Blooperman. Come up here, get on here. We're going to side flip over here. Get on this, and then we're going to jump here and dive in there. So, here we go, we're losing Flood. Shadow Mario comes and grabs him. And here we go, guys. I'm going to take this one nice and easy because I don't want to die. Um, uh, I'm not very practiced on these secrets, so no way I'm going to be attempting to speedrun these today, guys. So we're moving across these, these blocks. We're going to go ahead and grab this extra life because I feel like I'm going to need it throughout the speedrun because I will be dying on some secrets most likely. There is a way to long jump across. Um, it is very difficult. I've already missed the cycle to where I would be able to do that, so there's no point in trying it anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and side flip up on top of there. Jump over to this one, run up. All right, we're doing good, we're doing good. Get up on here, jump over there, and then finish the jump to this yellow box. Boom, we are crushing it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and run over here. Jump onto this one. We're doing good, guys. Just doing it very slow. Like I said in the last episode, I play secrets pretty much how a casual player would play them. I just know the cycles, so I don't die to randomness really that often. That's the only difference. Alright. And here we are at the end. Final jump. And we've got it. Finish. Grabbed the star and a perfectly done secret. Very, very slow. All right, guys. Secret level for Rico Harbor complete. Now, moving on. <laughs> so here we go, guys. Episode five. What is next? We have got... The Gooper Blooper returns from episode one of Rico Harbor. We will be fighting that big old uh, octopus thingy squid again. So, same movement. Pretty much triple jump. Spin jump. Spin jump. Side flip. Side flip. And then here we're going to water slide to take out these little mini Gooper Bloopers. Just boom, boom. We're gonna get up on this little building here. We're gonna jump, bounce off this thing, and jump right into the fight, ladies and gentlemen. Another speed fight. See, I failed there. 
and he's gonna get me. No, he's not, because I'm cool. So as you see, you'd normally jump on those tentacles and uh, pull his tentacles off one by one and then go grab his nose once his tentacles are all gone so that he can't hit you. But like I said, we're doing it in a quick way where we can do it with all his tentacles still on his body. Gotta be able to do it nice and quick for speedrun purposes. All right, and we got it again. Wait till he starts whining, and then we can launch him into the ocean. And that is the end of Gooper Blooper in the Any% Percent speed run. There is one more time he pops up way later in the run, but uh, we can skip him. There's a really nice glitch that we use to skip the final Gooper Blooper fight, so we never see him again for the rest of the run. Star grab. And there we go. That is number five done. We're blowing through Rika Harbor, guys. Blowing through it. Now it's time for episode six. We are one away from Shadow Mario. We've got this one, and then, like I said in the last episode, every episode seven is the Shadow Mario. Every seventh level of each stage is Shadow Mario. We spray him down, and then we are good for the 80% speed run. We don't need to worry about the eighth episode in each stage. Sorry if this is confusing. It's a very confusing game, especially to speed run. Especially if you've never played the game before, too. So we're back on these little blooper guys that were racing like little surfboards. But this time we're doing red coins. You remember red coins from the last episode? We gotta hit this big, ooh, we gotta hit this big red button. Just like that. And now we are going to go grab all these red coins. So first one we're gonna try to maneuver through here. If we hit any object, we die, ladies and gentlemen. Fun fact, so we gotta be very careful. I missed a coin, but that is 100% fine. We can come back for it. Jump in the air, grab that one. Grab this one. So yeah, this red coin level is fairly difficult. It's got a very precise, um, precise path you should take toward the end so that you don't die. But if you hit any object, for the most part, you die. It is very rough. So we're gonna grab this one, and we got one more. Hard cut right through here, and there it is. So, star's gonna spawn where we got the blooper. Here's the most difficult part, guys. Here is the most difficult part. We've gotta stay on the blooper, maneuver through this tiny little area, and we gotta jump onto the dock without hitting the dock. Oh! Oh my god, guys. This is not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Oh! Oh! See what I mean by you don't always die? We are going slow enough to where we got lucky there. That was horrifying. Because that was almost a death right there. So let's try that again. There we go. Alright, guys. My heart, heart leapt out there for a bit. But we got it. We are good to go. And it is time to face Shadow Mario and Rico Harbor. The easiest Shadow Mario in the entire speedrun. And I will show you guys why. So... If you don't remember, if you haven't watched the last episode, what are you doing? You need to go watch the last episode, so goddammit, pause this and go watch it. But, if you have already watched it, you remember, we have to spray Mario with water until he falls on the ground and cries, and then we get a star from him. This one is not really much of a chase, so here's how it goes. He's standing right here at this little uh, platform. We're going to jump to our left, and we're just going to run, and we're just going to spray. Watch. Bye. Just like that. That's all we need to do. We just need to run in a straight line and spray. We're going to catch him right here at the top of this ramp and get our star. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the end of Rico Harbor. Probably my favorite stage in the entirety of the speed run, I believe, is Rico Harbor. But uh, there you go, guys. That is our 14th Shine Sprite for the run. And we are moving on to Penna Park, the amusement park right there. We're going to that little Bowser, Bowser ship. So we are well underway in the speed run, ladies and gentlemen, and well underway in episode two. So we're about to trigger a cutscene that is skippable, but it is one of the hard it is the hardest skip to get in the entire game, so I do not do it. It's called Honey Skip. Um, Honey Skip would skip this entire cutscene, which is kind of long, saves about 20 seconds. It's a very creepy cutscene, you ready? Big ass tongue. Creepy shit. What's he gonna do with that big ass tongue? You tell me. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be going to that amusement park over there that he's traveling to. That is Peanut Island. The villain secret hideout must Shut be. Shut up, there. Flood, I am aware. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So there's two kind of skips in this first episode. I will explain them to you. 
So let's get in there, boys. And girls. So Mecha Bowser. We're riding a roller coaster in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. So here we go, guys. We are going to start out on the beach, and we need to get into the park, Pinna Park, to fight Mecha Bowser. So we're going to quickly get into the park here. Not so quickly. We're going to run into that idiot. But here we are. We're in the park. Shadow Mario is going to lead us to the big roller coaster that we need to be going to, but we're going to water slide right past him and into the loading zone. But before we get in the loading zone, we're going to exit area, but we went in the loading zone, so it skipped a big old cutscene, and now we're immediately getting on to the roller coaster. There's the first skip of this episode. I'll show you the next one after I beat Mecha Bowser. So this level's kind of difficult, and by difficult, it's just takes a while um, if you're not super good at it and super practiced, which I'm not. So we're riding on a roller coaster. There's a big mechanical Bowser in the middle of the roller coaster, and we need to shoot four rockets at him. And sometimes you can sneak a couple early ones in, but that was horrible. Um, so I did not get that one. Maybe this one. Nope, missed that one too. We're going to get a free shot right here, pretty much. It's a really nice close close range shot right there so we got a free one we might get another free one right here this one can kind of be difficult though here there we go there's number two number three is pretty easy as well right here there's number three all right he's gonna spray us with fire we're gonna block it with our water spout here and now we just need to hit him one more time and then we're going to pause the game when he starts blowing fire out of his face. So, here we go. Let's see if I can hit him. This one's kind of hard. Yep, that mound's in the way. We're going to block these guys. Come on. Nope. See, that they just shoot in random locations sometimes. It's really annoying. But let's go ahead and try to hit him through the whole park. Missed. Try to hit him upside down, maybe. I think I got him, guys. We did. So we're going to keep an eye on him. And when he starts blowing fire out, we're going to pause. So you see the fire coming out of his mouth. We're going to exit area, and we're going to skip a huge cutscene just right there. And now we've got the star grab. That cutscene is like minutes long. Not as long as the beginning one that I talked shit on in the first episode. But that cutscene is long. But we skipped it, because we're speedrunners. So there is the first shine of Pinna Park, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's move on to... Level two. <clears throat> so we're gonna run right back in to the cannon, launch back to the island. It is episode two time, ladies and gentlemen. The beach cannon secret. There's a little bit of a skip in here, not much of a skip, more of a clip, like a glitch. So there's this mole guy, and he's in a cannon on the beach, and we need to get into his cannon to do the secret of this episode. So we're going into another secret where we lose Flood. So we need to get in his cannon. He's going to throw these bombs out, like that, and he wants us to throw them at him to get in, but we're going to do this to get in. We're just going to dive in on him, because we're speedrunners. So here we are, guys. We're going to run this fairly casually. I can actually do this one kind of fast, like a bit of a speedrunner, but it is difficult. It's been a while, and I don't want to waste lives and get a game over while I'm trying to show you guys this game. So we're just going to play it kind of casual here. We're going to jump on these, ground pound, and fly all the way up. Oh, oh, these are so hard to control, dude. Uh, uh, get it. Oh, no, we got to wait this whole cycle. Yeah, these disappearing blocks are annoying. So here we go. We gotta wait a whole cycle on this one too. If I hit my cycles and do it like how I'm actually supposed to, like a speedrunner would, I'd actually hit these cycles and wouldn't have to wait on them. Let's grab this extra life here. And we're gonna just do some jump dives to outrun the disappearing blocks. And there we go, nice star grab. Secret of Pinna Park done. That is not the only secret of Pinna Park. This is one of the uh, rare occasions that we are going to be doing two secrets in one stage. So, secret one of Pinna Park is now completed. Let's move on to level two. Level three. That was level two. 
I'm calling them levels, I'm calling them episodes, I'm calling them stages. You know what I'm talking about. I'm just all over the place with my terminology. Don't worry about it, all right? I'm just as confused as you are. <laughs> all right, guys. The red coins of the pirate ship. The red coin level of Penna Park. This one is pretty difficult. Takes some crazy movement and a little bit of luck, I might add. So, let's get into the park. I think I remember the beginning movement. The beginning movement I'm good at. So, here we go. Got a water slide over here. Do a nice little spin jump. Another spin jump. Grab this coin here. One more spin jump. Look at that pro movement right there. Now, if only I had pro movement for the rest of it. So we're just going to run over to this little uh, tree here. Give it a good climb. And start to get the rest of the red coins. So let's go ahead and kill this little gate dweller while I'm at it. Jump down here, grab this red coin here, come back up, we're going to do a nice little spin jump, get up here, grab that coin, pop through here, jump on here, pop through that gate, come all the way up here, grab this red coin, now we got to fall all the way back down, because we are going to try to grab, where is it? Alright, the boat's finally out of the way, so we're going to jump down and we're going to grab this here red coin. Right there. But we fall all the way back down because the boats were being dumb. So now it's time to jump up to the top and grab the final red coin. So here we go. So let's do a nice little spin jump here. Get up on this. Go under here. Run up this little grate. We can avoid these little shocky guys. Grab the seventh red coin. And now we're going to kill this guy right here. There we go. And then we're going to get our camera set, jump, and spin around like that. Land on the grate and grab this final red coin for the shine grab. But ladies and gentlemen, a little bit of a rough uh, path there, but it's what we need to do to be, to get back into the game, you know? So, there's the third shine grab of the level. Let's move on to numero four. This is really fun. I'm really glad I'm back playing this, guys. And I really hope you guys enjoy it as well, because I'd love to include it more on my channel. Do some actual speedruns. Um, post them in full on the channel, and you guys can check them out in segments, or all in one if you're crazy. Watch the entire hour and a half, two hour run. Would you guys do that? Let me know. The Wilted Sunflowers. Episode 4. Level 4. So, we're on the beach this whole level. Heading over to these little sunflower guys. We're gonna try to wake them all up at once and fail. Are you ready? Try to wake them all up, or at least most of them. And I'll show you why we're waking them up. So, these little guys, they want to smash you. So, what we're going to do is we're going to let them. We're going to make them fall like that, and we're going to ground pound on them. And we're going to do as many in one cutscene as possible. Oh, did I get three? I think I only got two. God damn it. Yeah, I only got two. So, these guys, they want to smash you. So you got to ground pound on them when they come in the sand, and you want to do as many as possible in one. But it's super hard to do, so I only got two there again. <clears throat> we got one more to do. If I were actually good at this game, no way, I just ran out of water. Oh my god, guys, this is bad. Grab some water here. Alright, let's finish this level. I hate this one. Hey, you're awake. Now come smash me. Come on. Alright. And we smash him in return. What? Explain to me what just happened there, ladies and gentlemen. Explain. I said smash him. Excuse me? What the fuck is happening? I'm not waiting too long. Why is he staying in the ground so long? Or not staying in the ground long enough? 
Guys, I'm genuinely confused right now. This has never happened before. Oi, come on. There we go. Jeez. I don't know what that was, ladies and gentlemen, but I'll improve on it, and you'll see it better in the next run. That was ridiculous. They never, like, get up that quickly. Speedrunner McGee over here, guys. Let's get the shine and let's get out of here. Let's move on to a better level. That was annoying. Frustrating, guys. It's frustrating. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make I'm trying to be entertaining, but it is frustrating. Ignore all these little cut scenes, because we are continuing on with Pena Park. Going back in. It's annoying because like Rico Harbor is my favorite stage and I'm good at it. So I like blaze through Rico Harbor and then and then Penna Park is just rough. Episode number five, Runaway Ferris Wheel. So in this one, we need to get to the top of the Ferris Wheel in the park. And for a casual player, it would be a fairly long star to get. Reason being, you have to go to the back of the Ferris Wheel and do a massive big 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 obstacle course to get all the way to the top of the ferris wheel but we're speedrunners guys we ain't doing any of that we're gonna take the same path that we did during the uh red coins and we're gonna get to the top of it in a very cheaty glitchy way as you do in speed running so let's run up here <gasps> what is with this weird momentum glitch everybody I keep getting this weird momentum glitch where I just keep running and I fall off of things. Strange, but we can use this bridge to get up there. We're alright. We'll be just fine. Look at that, we're already back. So, we're gonna run up this little grate. And instead of going around the back of the Ferris wheel and doing a massive... I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about it, just know that I did a cool save right there to make sure that we didn't have to redo all of that. So instead of going around the back of the Ferris wheel and doing a massive obstacle course, we're going to do a nice little flip and we're going to glitch through the Ferris wheel here, land on here, and be at the end of the obstacle course already. So I fly through here, grab that, knock this motherfucker off, and boom, that is the end of the level. We didn't have to do a single obstacle. But the star grab is not over, ladies and gentlemen. It's going way up on this platform for some reason. We gotta do some weird shit to get there. Here we go. So we need to adjust our camera around and jump onto one of these little Ferris wheel cards. We missed it. <laughs> Guys, what's happening? But we can wall kick up onto this one. There we go. So normally you can jump onto one from the top of that right there, but since we're just a horrible, horrible speedrunner, we missed it. And we're just gonna do a normal star grab just like that. Guys, I am so sorry for this. When I do a real speed run, I promise it'll be better. I'll make sure everything's top notch. But this is casual. Guys, it's casual. I need to keep trying to speed run it. Because I'm just going to get frustrated. Casual playthrough. We're good to go. Good to go. <laughs> Episode number six. Let's move on. Episode number six. And then Shadow Mario, ladies and gentlemen. So, if you saw the episode title right there, Yoshi's Go Around Secret. You see that word? Secret. You know we are going floodless, ladies and gentlemen, once again for the last time in Penna Park. Hop in the park here, and we need to go get Yoshi. This is the first time we see Yoshi in the entire game. So let's go get that little green bastard. He's actually not going to be green in this episode, fun fact. He's going to want a fruit to wake up, and we can get lucky with this, and we got very lucky right there. That fruit is the best RNG in the game. I'm trying to talk to you guys so I get hit by a shell, but that fruit is right here. It's the closest fruit to him, so it's really cool that he asked for that one. There we go. So now we've got a nice little Yoshi dinosaur of the right color for this episode. And he wanted the close fruit. So we are golden, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to run all the way to this merry-go-round. And we enter the secret. 
So, we've lost Flood, and it is time to do one of the craziest secrets. This one's really cool. You got a bunch of weird, weird Yoshi blocks here. So we're gonna jump across them. Just like that. We got another round to go out here. And last jump, right there. All right, and we have done it. That was the hard part out of the way. Now we just need to go up this little obstacle course of boxes here, and we are good to go, and we can grab our shine and get out of the final secret of Pinna Park. So let's jump onto this box here. Jump onto this box here. Then we can flip up here, do some wall kicks. Land up here. And let's do a little bit of a speedrun tactic here, ladies and gentlemen. As scary as it might be, we're going to jump dive! And just like that, we are grabbing the star instead of going around. We save a couple seconds right there if we just do a nice jump dive. A little scary, though. But there it is, a perfectly executed secret. The final secret of Pinna Park and our 20th shine, ladies and gentlemen. You see, we're moving quick now in the episode, in the, uh... In the speedrun, at the end of the last one, we had seven, I believe. We now have 20. But... It is Shadow Mario, ladies and gentlemen. This one is difficult. There's no quick way to do... Okay, don't don't listen to me. I'm, I'm lying. There's no real quick way for me to do it. It is very difficult to get Shadow Mario in this one. So if I don't get him immediately and I end up chasing him around the park, don't be surprised, but I'll try my best. So let's get in the park and chase this boy down. Oh, there we go. And it is Shadow Mario. Oh, I got him pretty quick, guys. Look at that. Sometimes I see little things like that and I think my speedrun career might not be so dead. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That is Shadow Mario gotten in Pinna Park. We're going to do one more quick thing, and that'll be the end of part one. But that is Penna Park completely done. We've completed Rico Harbor. We've completed Penna Park, the two stages for this episode. We're going to do one more little thing, and then I will be off. And we will move on to part three next week, or whenever I put it out. So, here we go. Final thing in the episode, ladies and gentlemen. That little cutscene of Mario has been showing before us every single time. We're going to go ahead and take care of that. He's got the Yoshi egg. So let's go grab this idiot. We're going to take a wide swing around here to make sure that he runs in the correct direction. Just like this. You hear the music starting up. So there he is. So we're just going to try to grab him here. I was unable to get him quick, ladies and gentlemen. That is no good. Not a, not a fun day in the Mario chasing community. <laughs> so, do you see all that lag there? This game has some pretty crazy lag spikes. Alright, so we got him right here. Pretty bad, but we'll be fine. So, we've got the Yoshi egg. He's asking for a banana, which we can get from the trees or right here. We're going to go ahead and do a side flip up. We are going to uh, give him the banana. We're going to hop on his back. And we are going to eat this pineapple for later use. This pipe is another stage. We've eaten the pineapple out of it, so now we can enter it. But that is not where we're going next. We're going to Bianco again to finish it up. We started it in part one, but we're going to be finishing it here in the next part so we're going back here ladies and gentlemen but that is the end of part two ladies and gentlemen of the super mario sunshine casual speed run playthrough i hope you enjoyed it guys i really do as much as you did in part one the feedback and the messages from part one in the comments were amazing and i really hope that you guys enjoyed this one as much as you did so if you liked it please like please leave a comment and let me know that you enjoyed it and share it around to all your friends i'd love for them to see it but i will see you guys in part three when we take on the next couple of stages. Peace out.